welcome back to Music with Meg's Violin School. Today we're going to be learning how to play the Wellerman on the violin. I've written the Wellerman for three violins. I'm going to teach you the tune, the violin one part, and if you want to learn violin two and violin three, you can find those over on my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash music with Meg. Let's get started. Now, this version of the Wellerman is in the key of F sharp minor. So it's got the following sharps and flats. We've got F sharp, which is finger two on the D string. And then G sharp. So this is a slightly different fingering than we've learned before. Previously, we've learned to put finger three next to finger two there. But for G sharp, we want our finger three to be slightly higher. So we've got a gap of a tone between the F sharp and the G sharp. So watch out for that G sharp. So F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, and then it's a natural minor here, so we've got D natural. So that's a semitone. Up to E, and finishing on F sharp, finger one. Okay, so most of those fingers are our basic standard fingers with our raised finger twos, but on the D string, our finger three, which is G sharp, needs to be raised. So watch out for that G sharp while we're learning this music. All right, let's just play that one through one more time. F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D, E, and F sharp. Good, now we begin on C sharp, and it goes like this. We've got C sharp, and we've got F sharp to the rhythm of tum, ta, ta, tum. One and the two. Good, so we've got C sharp, one, two, and three, four, onto A, four. So we've got three, four, one, two, and three, four. Good, and then we're back to C sharp. C sharp, two, three. One, two, three. That's our first little phrase. So, I'll count you and we begin on beat number three. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three. Good. And then we've got another four and our quavers or eighth notes on C sharp still. So that's four and. So we'll, sit, uh, we'll play that bar, which is one, two, three, four, and a semitone up to our um, D. So D, one, and then down uh, by a third to B. So one, two, and three. One, two, and three. All right, let's go from the beginning again. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three. One, two, three, four, and one, two, and three. Good, well done. And then we're back to our D there for another two eighth notes or quavers. Four and, good. So we'll play uh, that, just that bar. It goes one, two, and three, four, and. One, two, and three, four, and. Then we're crossing strings over to E. So we've got F sharp, finger one. Uh, for two uh, eighth notes or quavers. One and, and then we cross back over to C sharp. C sharp, good. All right, let's just go from that previous bar where we have finger three, uh, D. So we play one, two, and three, four, and one, and two, three, four, good. And from the beginning, I will count you in. Are we ready? One, two, Three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, and two, three, four. Good. Okay, we've got a dotted rhythm here now um, on this C sharp, which means that we have increased the length of the quarter note or crotchet by half, which means that we're holding it for three eighth notes or quavers. Really simple, and you'll hear it all the time in music, even if you don't really understand how it works. All it means is that our rhythm is da, 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 da. 
So, in this example, we're on C sharp, we've played and here's our dotted rhythm, one, two, so you can see that is uh, that second C sharp is an upbeat to the next bar, so uh, it will be quite short and it might catch you off guard, but listen out because we've got a few of those dotted rhythms throughout this piece. Let's just do that bar where we're on the F sharp, on the E string, finger one, one and two, three, four, and it comes in on the and. One and two, three, four, and. Good, and again. And again. Good, now we're crossing strings again. So our finger two is just moving from the A string to the D string. We're playing F sharp. We've got G sharp, A, B, just like our scale. One, two, three, four, and finish on C sharp. C sharp, C sharp, C sharp. Good. From that bar, we've got uh, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, C sharp, C sharp. Good. And let's do it with the upbeat because that's the really tricky bow here because we're having to change strings. So we'll play C sharp. And one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and again. And one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Good. Let's go from the beginning. Here we go. One, two, and we're going to start on an up bow. So whenever you have an upbeat, you always start on an up bow so that the downbeat of the first bar comes on a down bow. So we'll begin on an up bow. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, and two, three, four, and one. Notice how when I did the uh, dotted rhythm there on the C sharp, four and I did two up bows. That was a hooked bow. We've learned how to do hooked bows in one of my previous videos. So if you're not sure what I'm talking about when I say hooked bow, you can go back and watch that video and it should explain it. So most of our bow, about two thirds, will play the first beat, the first C sharp. One, uh, one, and, and then we'll just catch the end of our bow with uh, that second C sharp. That's a very folky thing to do with your bow, is to just catch the end like that. Good, now we're gonna play uh, C sharp, B, A, A, um, and then G sharp, F. So that's nice, it's just going back down the scale again, it's super easy. C sharp, B, A, A, G sharp, F. Good, let's go from the beginning. One, two, three, four. One, and a two, and one, two, and a one, two, and three, and a one. Let's go from the beginning one more time. Here we go. is the first half of the tune. We've got it. Next, we have our chorus of the Weller Man. And this is where we'll have lots of dotted rhythms. So look out for those and look out for that hooked bowing because that's gonna be coming up a lot. So we start on F sharp, which is finger one on the E string. And we play one, two, three, four, and. And we cross over to D, which is finger three on the A string. So we play one, two, three, four, and good. And then I put a finger four here for E. If you're not quite confident with your finger fours, just play an open string. E, E. 
but if you can do finger four that would be great it just makes it easier so you're not having to cross the strings all the time so we've got f sharp three four and finger four down e e c sharp c sharp good f sharp f sharp Good, and again. Good, and then another up bow for C sharp. And D. B, 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 D. So again from that C sharp. C sharp. D, B, 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 D. Good, from the chorus. Now we're back to D here, finger three, and we've got C sharp, A, F sharp. Nice little uh, little arpeggio there down. C sharp, A, change strings, and we've got F sharp. Easy. Let's play it again. Again, we play F sharp, F sharp, this time we've got E, D, good. Stick that finger four down, E, E, C sharp, C sharp, same thing again as before. Up bow here, and a C sharp, B, A, G sharp, F sharp. We've done that one before, that's our descending scale there from C sharp. C sharp, B, A, G sharp, F sharp. Good! The chorus is actually quite simple once you've got the hang of it because it just repeats itself the second time round. So it shouldn't be too tricky for you to get to grips with. Let's go from the chorus again. F sharp. through that quite quickly so please feel free to pause the video go back and watch it again uh, work on any little bits that you're not sure about you can always do this over a few days because it can take time for your muscle memory to sink in once you're ready we're gonna start again from the top and we're gonna play it together are you ready here we go I'll count you in one two three four one two three four <laughs> Okay, once you get to that point, retake your bow, so you're starting on a down bow, and it will make a nice if you can add a slight bounce to your start. So don't start with your bow on the string, but try and start with your bow off the string and come down. It just gives it a bit more impact. So if you're wanting to improve your playing, get a bit more advanced, then try beginning off the string. If you're not confident, that's fine. Just start with your bow on the string. All right, let's go from the beginning. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One more time and we're going to add in the second and third violin parts so we'll play it as a trio you can play the tune and I'll play parts two and three I'll also play the tune nice and quietly in the background so that you can still hear all right are we ready one two three four one two three
Thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed learning how to play the Wellerman with me. Of course, if you take any recordings of yourself practicing the violin, then please feel free to share them with me on social media, on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at musicwithmeguk. And make sure you use the hashtag, hashtag musicwithmeg. Happy practicing everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye.